What's up, Panthers? I'm Mia. And I'm Juliana. And this is West Park TV. One, two, three, four. Hopefully everyone had a great and restful week long break. Speaking of long break, there's an upcoming United Kingdom trip summer of 2025. A virtual information meeting will be held on Tuesday, December 5th at 7.30 p.m. For more information, email Ms. Riley at the email below. Attention all CSU and UC appliers. Today, November 30th, is the last day to turn in CSU and UC applications. So turn them in if you haven't already, and good luck, Panthers. With CSU and UC applications coming to a close, FAFSA applications open tomorrow, December 1st. For more information or want some help filling out the FAFSA, talk to Ms. Luna in the College and Career Center. And now it's time for our weekly sports report. Take it away, AJ. Thanks, guys. All fall sports have wrapped up and our winter sports are playing their first scrimmages and games of the year. Girls basketball started off their season last week with all levels playing in their first scrimmages. Frosh unfortunately lost to Yuba City. JV destroyed Wood, only giving up 10 points. And Varsity had a blowout win against Yuba City. They also won in a very close game against Wilsey Wood. Girls basketball played on Tuesday at Consumer Soaks, and JV won their second game of the season. Varsity sadly lost. Boys basketball started last week. JV and Varsity played River Valley. JV sadly lost their first game, but Varsity won in a blowout fashion, winning by 26 points. They also played Tuesday against Foothill at home. JV absolutely crushed the Mustangs, scoring 93 points and only giving up 15. Varsity also crushed Foothill in a thrilling 65-37 win, which was the second win of the season. Boys basketball is hosting a tournament at home today through Saturday, so come out and support your Panthers. Wrestling had a tournament last weekend, and there were great performances all around from our West Park athletes. Here is Kayla Birch to talk about wrestling and the start of their new season. The West Park wrestling team has had a ton of student athletes come out to join this year, and they've been training hard. I caught up with a few of them to ask them about wrestling and this year's season. The best part of uh, wrestling is definitely getting ripped. By the end of wrestling, you'll have like six pack abs. And also you get to meet like a lot of good friends like for a long time out of it. So that's what I like. Camaraderie on our team is, you know, it's super like energetic. Every time we go to like a tournament or a dual meet, you know, there's a lot of people yelling, hyping us up. And you know, it's a really, really fun environment. Double! There we go, finish out! There we go! The hardest part of wrestling is definitely the commitment to it because it's very mentally challenging and also physically demanding. It's just the commitment, you know, you come in every day and you gotta be ready to, you know, just go as hard as you can and put yourself. It doesn't matter what happened at school that day, you know, as soon as you come in, you're part of wrestling, you just gotta work your best. What's your point, Max? The best part of wrestling, I guess, is just like seeing your progress and seeing, you know, I couldn't do this at the beginning of the year, I'm, I'm a lot faster now. I'm a lot stronger now, I'm better at this move and this move and this move. Just seeing that improvement from every day. If you want to get in shape or you want to try something unique and different and really test your net limits, I would say definitely join wrestling. What's up guys? West Park TV. Hey, I'm about to go up soon. You already know. I'm going to win. I'm Caleb, reporting for West Park TV, and back to you. Boys soccer had their first game of the year on Tuesday. They played Colfax at home, and both JV and Varsity destroyed the Falcons. Girls soccer has their first game of the year next Tuesday at home, so come out and show your support. Our football team had their semifinals game last week right before the break, and our very own Cameron Zhang traveled with the team up to Escalon. The team got ready for a long bus ride to Escalon to play in the semifinals. The rain was a lot different dealing with the grass field and their home crowd. Our Panthers unfortunately lost 48 to 28, but they put up a big fight with touchdowns from Weston Wade, Ryan Sisson, and Mason Schindelbauer. Even though the Panthers suffered a loss to the Cougars, to reflect on their season, they finished with a season record of 10 and three, finished second in league, and came out victorious in the first and second round of the playoffs against Wood and Placer. Here's Coach Tanner with a reflection on this season. 
first 10 win season in school history, back-to-back -back semis run. Super proud of this group for what they've done on and off the field. Um, our kids are champions, you know, great in the classroom, great on the football field. Uh, we may have lost today, but we battled every week. Kids gave everything every Friday night. I'm super proud of them, their effort this year, and um, I feel honored to have had the opportunity to coach this team. That's all I have for you this week. I'm AJ reporting for West Park TV, and back to you. Thank you, AJ. In case some of you didn't know already, West Park now has girls lacrosse. If you're interested, today, November 30th, is the last day to fill out the interest form. Contact Coach Nick if you have any questions. English 12 and AP Literature are excited to showcase projects that they've been tirelessly working on for the last few months. These projects focus on solving problems in their own community. Here with more on the showcase is Ms. Wagner. Hi guys, my name is Miss Wagner. I teach English here and I'm so excited to invite you to our senior showcase event on December 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. Our seniors and our AP Literature students have been hard at work um, researching topics they're passionate about, writing research papers, uh, doing community service projects, and putting together these presentations. And we would love for you guys to come out, see their presentations, and support them. So please join us. That's Thursday, December 7th, from 6 to 8 p.m. Come support our seniors. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Wagner. If you are interested in getting some West Park gear, the Student Store week-long sale ends next Sunday, December 3rd. Get some great discounted West Park gear while you can. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Panthers. We had a, such a fun time guest anchoring. Be sure to follow the Instagram at West Park TV. If you guys have any suggestions on what to add on the weekly shows, email the team or DM them on Instagram at West Park TV. Once again, I'm Mia. And I'm Juliana. Thanks, everyone. And don't forget, our time is now. RJUHSD US or DM them on Instagram. Juliana! Oh. Girly pop. I was too... Yeah. A little ASMR moment. I made a countdown. Five! Four! Sorry, five. Story week-long sale ends next Saturday, December 3rd. Get... <laughs> oh my god. Can you, you gotta be good, bro.